CataractCoach.com, retrieval of a lost capsule tension ring. We've all thought about this. Let me show you how it actually happens. Now, I guess surgeon here is doing a routine cataract surgery. Looks like a pretty reasonable cataract, good-looking capsule rexus. That's completed normally. Everything looks pretty reasonable here, right? Pretty much a routine case. Well, maybe not so much. Watch carefully. Hydro dissection being done right now. Hydro delineation. And now time for nucleus removal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Iatrogenic capsular dialysis. So we've got loss of zion support for at least a few clock hours, if not more than that. And now it's going to be a very challenging case. So the goal here is to get the cataract out of the capsular bag and then stabilize that capsular bag with a CTR. CTR being a capsular tension ring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Every time I see that clear red reflex, it makes my heart skip a beat. Now, the surgeon places right now a capsular tension ring and it goes inside the eye and you think, yeah, it's pretty good, right? Well, did the CTR go in the capsular bag? Or did the CTR end up in the sulcus? That's the question, so watch carefully. Removal of the rest of the cataract. Oh, whoa, 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 look at that. The dials are still there. How do you have zonular support that's gone with the CTR in the eye? That must mean the CTR is not in the capsular bag. So I like the technique here by manual cortex removal with the IA probes. And now filling up the capsular bag, pushing that equator back out. Now you've got probably six clock hours of zonular loss. A lot. But where's the CTR? Right, we put a CTR in. So the surgeon's looking for the CTR. Where is it gone? Oh, this is so stressful. I can already feel my own pulse going up. Now, the surgeon is going to do something very smart here. Very smart. Pushing the head away, placing a gonio prism on the eye to look in the angle. Can you find the CTR? Yes. The CTR was placed above the capsular rim. So that CTR was placed erroneously in the sulcus. So using a hook there to grab the CTR and pull it centrally. Wow, that gonio prism was magic. Now forceps can be used to extract and remove the CTR from the eye. Much, much, much better. Woo! I mean, the last thing you want to see is that CTR floating in the vitreous cavity, right? So now going in again. Now here comes a three-piece eye well being very carefully placed into the capsule bag. Mm, there you go. Remember the 7L rule. 7L means the first haptic, the leading haptic should look like the number seven, and that's pretty good. And the trailing haptic should look like the capital letter L. And so now, oh, looks like a Yamane technique being done here. So one haptic being pulled through the sclera. By the way, I'm watching this video for the first time with you. We watch it together because we're buddies like that. You know how it works. So it looks like a Yamani intrascleral haptic fixation technique here. And now going in through the other side and the other haptic being pulled through too. Now, what are the other options? You could put a capsule tension ring in, a Sioni ring, an Ahmed capsule tension segment, and use that to help hold the lens in place. Or you can do like you're seeing now, just do a straight Yamani technique. And so that's the, the choice here for the surgeon, the Amani technique. And this patient is going to have a pretty good outcome. So very nice, very good recovery. I have always thought about what would happen if I lost a CTR inside the eye. It's knock on wood. It's never happened to me. But this video is very helpful because it shows us how we can use a gonio prism to visualize that issue and find that lost CTR.